In this demo, I'm going to show you how you can isolate and roll back malicious or mistaken changes to uh, Office Azure uh, licensing. So uh, I'm going to look uh, at my list of active users, one big ugly list, uh, but I'm going to choose Alberto Curtis. I'm going to take a look at Alberto's license. I'll come over to licensing and apps on the properties page. And I see that Alberto has an E3 license and there are 13 of the apps uh, left assigned and a bunch that are turned off. Um, so I'm not really paying much attention to that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just remove the E3 and assign the E1. You'll see it does say duty increase demands, blah, 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 blah. Teams will take an hour, a day, or a week, or a month, or something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and save the changes. Now, the interesting part is if I go back right away and just reverse this, there isn't really an issue because for a little while, it'll remember what the change was. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just take a look at some other user. Uh, in this case, Albert Einstein. I'm going to look at this license, and you'll see on the E3 I have... I select, oops, I don't want to turn it off. I have 23 apps, so a much different profile for this user than the other user. Now, this change I made manually, but this could very well have been a script uh, or somebody going in uh, and running some other tool. So if I try to reapply this license now, you'll see I have 24 of these applications now assigned, and I have no idea which ones were on or off. For one user, you can suffer through this, trying to figure out exactly what was going on and likely come up with uh, a change. But if you have a volume of license changes or if um, your uh, uh, script goes awry and it blows away everybody's licenses, not only are you gonna lose the configuration of the license, there may be additional metadata that you lose on the user as well. Now I'm gonna switch over to Chaosoft Guardian and uh, uh, looking at the homepage, I see that it's been continuously recording some changes here. I see there were a couple of changes uh, made uh, just a few moments ago. I'm going to click on all changes. And what it does, it jumps over to um, change history on the left. makes it much easier for me to see. And as I'm looking at this, I'll see right away that I'm looking at Active Directory on-premise group changes. I don't want to see those. I actually want to just see uh, Azure AD user changes. So I'm going to switch the view I'm working in. And sure enough, there's Alberto Curtis. And you'll see that Alberto Curtis um, had a license plan change. So I'll go ahead and click on Alberto Curtis and open up the property page. And what you will see, it's a little cryptic, but it says assigned license. Um, the plans were changed. And you'll see here that we've recorded all of those original 13 and now the new ones assigned by the E3. So if I want to roll that license back and I don't want to take uh, any time to do this, I simply click the restore button and it puts the licensing right back. And the reason we're able to do this is because we're continuously checking the directories, both on-premise and cloud, for changes. And we're checking some of the applications like Exchange Online and some others uh, so that we can do full recoveries in most cases. So without doing that, I'm gonna actually come back out here and just show you that I had other changes uh, that were happening to users. And as I'm looking at this view, I'll actually see that more changes can come in and it turns out there was just another couple of changes for uh, uh, Albert Thornton. So I'm going to go ahead and just from here, I know that this was the mistaken user. It was the assigned license. I can just roll it back from here also. Now, if I felt that that user uh, license was critical to my career, let's say that's the, um, the account of one of the senior executives, uh, I could actually set up an alert to show me any time that license has changed. And then I could review that and roll it back if needed. So here we'll do a quick refresh. You'll now see those columns are basically reversed and Alberto um, uh, Curtis has the license uh, put back. Now the view may take a little bit to refresh, but if I come out here and look at Alberto Curtis, and I look at licensing and apps, you'll see Alberto is back to the E3 with the original 13. So you can imagine if I had a license, licensing script that ran or a GBL that broke, uh, that ran amok and just stripped everybody's licenses, I would have no way to recover from that. I'd have to go back and maybe set a generic license and have a bunch of embarrassment and have downtime. With this solution, you'll have almost no downtime. As soon as you find there's an issue, 
It'll either be a phone call or you'll see it in the stream of data that we're doing or we're recording. You can roll those things back either for one user or I could have selected 20 users and rolled them back simultaneously.